Ho, 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 merry, happy, whatever holidays, and uh, welcome to this special episode of uh, Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials, all info, no fluff. I know nobody makes a tutorial on Christmas and probably nobody would watch it, but a user asked a really good question and I just can't resist but help all my viewers. <laughs> So anyway, one of my viewers downloaded some of my scripts and they were wondering how to load it into Reaper. So that's a great question. And I thought to cover that real quick here. Uh, so if you don't know, if you go to my website and go to my blog, the link will be down there. You can download a bunch of custom actions that I've shown in my tutorials in the past. For example, if you come to the blog post for our first 20 episodes of Rapid Fire Reaper tutorials, there's a bunch of custom actions that you can download as a bundle. So I'll just double click on this and it will download it. You can also go to my Reaper stash and there you can download my custom actions and some track templates and some stuff like that. I really got to update this and uh, you can also download my actions here. So let's just download this action, for example, the ripple delete item. So from here, I can just click on the action and go download. And now if I go to my downloads, I will see this, the ripple delete item Lua script. And I will see this zip folder, which I downloaded from my website. And in there, there are more than one custom actions. But basically, if I show you one, you'll know how to use all of them. So let's import this into my Reaper. I'm going to come to Reaper. And here I'm going to go to my options. And then all the way down here, it says show Reaper resource path in Explorer or Finder. So I hit it. And once I hit it, I'll come to this folder where every file associated with my current Reaper install will be there. And then on the bottom of this page, there's the scripts folder. And then here in scripts folder, this step is optional, but I like to do it because it will help with organization. I'm going to create a new folder, call it custom scripts and I can just grab this and paste it here. The reason I do this is that so all my custom scripts are in one folder, so I don't lose them. They're not somewhere random on my computer. And in case one of them is problematic, I know exactly where they are to come and delete them without possibly deleting some other scripts. Of course, my scripts are perfect. They will never cause any problems. I've tested them. So now we have the Lua script that we just downloaded on our custom scripts in our resource path. So I'm going to come back to Reaper. I'm going to open my actions list. And then here I got to go to new action and go to load Rhea scripts. Some people, based on the version you have, you may have, instead of this, you may have eight buttons here and one of them would be called load. So it's the same thing. You can either click on load if that's what your Reaper looks like, or if it looks like mine, you go to new action, you go to load Rhea script. Now you just navigate to the place that you went to that you saved your scripts in. And I'm going to select this script and I'm going to load it into Reaper. And now it's here. So additionally, we can assign a hotkey to it. My hotkey that I assigned to mine is F1. And it says it's already mapped to the action ripple delete item, which is the same thing. But whatever, let's overwrite the mapping. And now notice that I'm not in ripple editing mode. But if I come here, select this item and hit F1, it works as if it was in ripple editing mode. And the way that works is sets ripple editing per track, removes the item, then sets ripple editing off. So you're back to normal. So you don't have to get into ripple editing if you want to quickly ripple delete an item. Let's show you one more time. Hit F1 without being in ripple. It works like a ripple delete. So that's how you load a script. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy holidays and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye bye.